Greetings and welcome. I have been wanting to do this video for a while, and I brought it up in a couple past videos. Then Scott Maz had a 103 sub giveaway. And congrats on the 103 subs. That's a great accomplishment. But Scott Maz wants to see one of your favorite sets. And one of my favorite sets is the 1957 Topps football set. And this Bobby Lane card is the reason why I pursued the set. Prior to this, I mostly concentrated on baseball sets. I had some vintage football, but, but not a ton. But I was, uh, I was at a local card show where, where I live. And, and I remember this well, it was October of 2018, so four years ago. And my show rarely had anything but baseball. But this one dealer, he would always have football. And I was always kind of gravitated to that just because it was something you don't see a, a ton where I'm from. So I was looking through his display case and I saw this lane card. And it was the greatest design I had seen. Now I've seen, I've seen them before but at, at this time, it uh, it just hit different. So I bought it, and pretty much I spent the rest of the day just admiring, um, admiring the the card, along with re researching the sets and the checklist and how many seeing who was in the who was in the sets and reading anything I could. Now, I had put together many sets, so I wanted to do something a little different, and decided to try to put together the set with only graded cards. Before the set, I had never had a graded card in my collection. And all of those, all the ones I have bought for the set have already been graded. I, I've never, I still have never submitted a card to PSA or CSG or whatever the others are. Um, but I want to share some of the knowledge I have gained on this journey. I still have 15 cards to go to complete the set. The set is 155 cards. 100, 154 of them are numbered. And then there's the checklist. And that, that's not, that's an unnumbered card. And there's two variation, two versions of the checklist. One has the bazooka advertisement on the back and the other has a twin baloney on the back. And that one is more scarce. 57 was the was released in two series. Cards 1 to 88 were the first series, then 89 to 154 were series 2. One thing that makes the set very desirable that there are 31 Hall of Famers in the set, which is 20% of the set. The rookie Hall of Famers are Dick, Night Train Lane, Raymond Berry, one's a little off-centered, still love it though, the Bart Star, which uh, still eludes me, Johnny Unitas, and Paul Horning. When I finish the set, which could still be years away, I will do a real deep dive into the history because I, I have really spent the last four years kind of trying to gather as much as I can from this and I just I find it fascinating. But I kind of want to do that video when I when I have it fully completed. Some of my personal favorites from the set. I'm a Colts fan. So I do have the all the Colts cards. The Lenny Moore. This one I just got back the other day. The Art Donovan. I had I got this upgraded. I used to have 
That was my original Donovan, and I just upgraded to that. One thing with set collecting is you, you're never really done even when you buy the cards. George Shaw. Jim Muscheller. It's a great example of the Alan Amici. Roy Swamble. Carl Tassif. Bert Reikecker. I'm sure I'm getting that one wrong. Billy Vessels. And Art Spinney. The non Colts that I really like in the set is I like the Larry Strickland. I like the image of this. It just it just looks nineteen fifties football with the leather helmet and just the way centers used to look. The um, Bill Sherman. Again, the image just it looks like he's flying flying through the air. Of course, I already showed the raw one, but Bobby Lane, yeah, I, uh, I bought another. I like uh, how Ollie Matson's mouth is wide open on card number 28. That along with Luke Creekmore's clenched teeth on card 20. And this John Johnson is a, that's just a cool football card in my opinion. If you don't collect sets, you miss out on some of the awesome cards. On the other hand, I miss out on other cards because I buy a lot of commons, so collect what you like. Some of the challenges I have ahead of me, I'm gonna go back to the, is the checklist. That can be pretty pricey I saw one at the last Chicago National for eight thousand, and I refused to spend eight grand on a checklist. I'm definitely looking for a lower quality, lower grade. I saw one at the last November Chicago Sports Spectacular, and I didn't have the cash, and the dealer would only take cash. He refused to take any kind of PayPal or anything else. So it's cash only. It was kind of a bummer. I'm kind of debating whether I should go up again in a couple weeks, but I don't know. It's, that's I don't know if I want to go for this, the chance that it's still there. So that was a bummer. I don't have the star rookie, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting for one to come in in a condition that I want, and I'll probably go after it pretty, pretty strong. I do have cards 1 to 89, and besides the checklist and the star, the other 13 I'm missing, they just don't come up very often, very frequently. So like all set collecting, it's just patience. So 13 cards doesn't seem bad, but you know, when you 
only see one one Tommy McDonald that you like in a year and you miss it or you don't you're not you can't get it at that time you know you, you just gotta be patient so again Scott Maz congratulations on 103 subscribers if you haven't checked out his channel please do he's got a great collection and Scott, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope um, I'm happy that you did a VR or you did a giveaway that wanted us to show some sets. So I was really happy to show this one off. So thank you all for watching and enjoy your collection.